All right, you guys, welcome back to a, another video. Today, we are gonna be trying the Rock Identifier app. A lot of people have asked me to review this, and fun fact, they actually reached out to do a collab with me, but they didn't wanna pay me. So, since they're not paying me, I'm gonna be brutally honest with their app and see how it actually works, see if it's any good. And we just did a TikTok Lucky Scoop unboxing, so we're gonna see if it can identify our TikTok talk lucky scoop unboxing and see how well it does so let's put it to the test okay so this app is a free week but then after your trial is up it's $29.99 per year which isn't super expensive but if it's wrong a lot it is expensive because it's just not even it's not even worth it let's get started so I'm gonna put up on the screen a screen recording so you guys can see exactly what I see so let's go and test out this rock identifier app we're gonna start off with this tree agate and I'm gonna see if this says moss agate or tree agate because there is a difference and this is tree agate. So let's test out the app. So it got tree agate right. It does say it's a form of chalcedony. It says it's formula, it's hardness, which I can't verify because I don't know off the top of my head. So we're gonna trust the app. And it says it's non-magnetic, which is true. It doesn't say anything about the locality, but it does have a little bit about what tree agates used for. What's the difference between moss agate and tree agate? Let's take a look at that. Moss agates are generally partially translucent while tree agate is opaque. There you go. And it comes with fun facts. Very cool. Let's go ahead and do the next crystal. So next we're gonna have it identify this green fluorite. Let's see how she does. Fluorite, yay, it got it right. Um, so it does say the formula, it says the hardness, it says what colors you can find, it's non-magnetic. And then there is an option that says, how can I tell if my fluoride is real or fake? Let's take a peek. Personally, I've actually never seen faked fluoride, but maybe this app knows something, I don't know. So the fake made from plastics, that makes sense. You would definitely feel if this were plastic and it would burn. Real crystals obviously don't burn. Oh, and it does say locality in the United States. I guess you can view the full map. Oh, wow, look at that. So very, very in-depth. All right, let's do the next crystal. So we're gonna do another easy crystal, this tiger's eye. Let's test her out. All right, <laughs> surprise, surprise, it got it right. It's actually pretty good so far, honestly. So tiger's eye, hardness, seven, weather information doesn't have, has some localities. What's tiger's eye good for? Is tiger's eye dangerous? Tiger's eye can actually be, well, it says it isn't dangerous, but it some tiger's eye can actually have asbestos in it. So it I think it actually can be a little bit dangerous. Not when it's polished, it's mostly like the dust when it's being polished. So unless you're a lapidary, it's probably not dangerous for everyday use. All right, let's try the next one. Next, we're gonna try this yellow fluorite. I'm gonna see if it identifies it as fluorite or some other crystal. So it got its first incorrect identification, which is funny because in my TikTok Lucky Scoop video, I said that piece is low quality and this app apparently agrees because it thinks it's calcite when it's actually fluorite. So I was saying in the Lucky Scoop video that piece is low quality because of all the white in it and it clearly is misidentifying this piece because it is low quality. That one is incorrect, but let's go ahead and try the higher quality piece of fluorite that was in the Lucky Scoop that's also a piece of yellow fluorite and see if it identifies that one as fluorite or calcite. And I think the one thing that's actually cool about this app is you can tell it that it's wrong to help it get smarter, which is pretty cool. It says, got the wrong result, correct the name. So let's go ahead and correct it for science. Go and correct the name. It says it could also be citrine, which it's not. Let's, let me put yellow fluorite. That one's not coming up, so let's just put floor. Oopsies, fluorite. Okay, submit. Let's go ahead and try the higher quality piece of yellow fluorite. Oh my gosh, it identified it as fluorite. This is truly what I mean by quality matters. So if you want to go watch that Lucky Scoop video, I, I'll link it up above, but those are the same crystal. I don't know if it caught that it was fluorite because I literally just uploaded an identical picture and told it it was fluorite, or if it truly recognized it as fluorite because it was a higher quality piece of fluorite. I will never know. Let's do the next one. 
So next we're gonna do this little agate weirdly carved bunny. Okay, my screen recording stopped, but we've got it back up. So this one again says it's calcite, which is wrong. It's agate, I can tell it's agate. Calcite has banding. Even in the photo they have on their screen, they're showing a piece of pink Mangano calcite, but this in fact is not calcite. So let's go ahead and correct it. Agate, so it says it might also be agate. So let's tell it that's the right one. So next we're gonna do these little bracelets. Oh, okay. Well, this one says it's Montana Moss Agate, which I don't know if it's Montana Moss Agate, to be honest. Some of the pictures look like it could be. Geologist or anyone who is a crystal fanatic or an agate fanatic, is that correct? Is it Montana Moss Agate? I don't know. It's definitely agate though, so that that's right. <laughs> And the last one we have is this mini moss egg. It's a mushroom. Let's see if it identifies it correctly as moss egg. Okay, you guys, so it got it correct. Green moss agate. And it did identify it as moss agate and not tree agate. Very, very cool. I mean, not bad. So overall, that was pretty impressive. The first time I had tried this app, it was very hit or miss. It was kind of like, eh, I don't know. But actually, I think this did a pretty fantastic job. However, <laughs> these are very easily identifiable crystals and it only got two wrong, right? It did get two wrong. It got the agate bunny wrong and it got the yellow fluorite wrong. But otherwise, it did pretty good. I would say it's decent. I don't know if it's worth $30. I think I'm gonna do another video to see if it can identify like super hard crystals like Epido. And I wanna see if I give it a real citrine and a fake citrine what happens. I'm gonna try to give it like more difficult crystals that aren't super generic. I think I'll do that in another video because this video is already getting a little bit long. I think I'll do like crystals from Morocco. Just like I'll, I'll scrounge up some like more, some more, some more rare pieces and see what it does. See if it's actually worth $30. Like let's put it to the test. Cause like this is child's play. Let's, let's put it to the test and see what it does with like difficult crystals that people really struggle. If you're just struggling to identify crystals, like and you're a super beginner, this did a very good job. But I'm curious to see how it does with fakes. And I'm curious to see how it does with like some tricky, tricky crystals. So come back for part two to see how that does. And make sure to subscribe down below and let me know if you guys have used this app. Let me know if you like this app. Let me know what you use this app for. Is there another app I should test? This is the one that I wanted to try because they reached out to me asking to do a collaboration and I was just curious. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys on the next one. I love you. Bye. Hey, question for you. Have you been thinking about starting a crystal business? Don't know where to start or feel a lack of community? Well, guess what, you guys? I have a Patreon that has access to a private community and Discord server for just $18 a month. You can learn from other businesses, make friends, learn along with me and topics include pricing shipping shopify etsy and so much more so head over and join us on patreon for just 18 dollars a month everything is linked in my bio